Local farmers are asking for help, saying that they are standing to lose over 100 billion pesos due to rice liberalization. But the Agriculture Department says it would take years to repeal the law. Not that the government has any plans to do so. Shaila Francisco has the details. Local farmers accepted President Duterte's apology for the drop in rice prices caused by the rice liberalization law. But the Federation of Free Farmers also said they need something more than a mere sorry. They are demanding for concrete action since they are expecting to lose about 140 billion pesos this year alone due to the steep fall in the commodities farm gate prices. Pale prices plunge drastically after imports have surged to more than double the local demand. From their peak of 23 pesos per kilo in September last year, prices dove to about 16 pesos per kilo last month. Farmers say the steep fall makes natural disasters appear kinder to them. This is more than 10 times, probably about maybe 14 times, the damage wrought by Typhoon Yolanda to the entire agriculture sector in 2013. And it is all man-made. Hindi po gawa ng kalikasan to. Gawa po ng tao. Legislators. Hindi naman pala po kalamidad ng tatama sa amin, kundi isang crisis na gawa ng, gawa ng tao. Farmers created the Gawad Contra Magsasaka Recognition to honor those who they say have contributed to their downfall. Top honors were given to economic managers and Senator Cynthia Villar for their efforts in the passage of the rice liberalization law. Duterte may have offered his sympathy to farmers for their struggles, but Malacanian clarifies it doesn't mean that they're going to stop rice importation anytime soon. The Agriculture Department adds repealing the law would take years, something farmers aren't too keen about. The law, if if needs to be revisited, yes, why not? Pero after a year or two, but take effect mo muna. Sasabihin, hintayin pa namin yung dalawang taon para maging normal yung kalakaran, eh, baka po nangangayayat na tagtigil na po yung mga anak namin sa pag-aaral. Groups are now asking the government to increase financial aid to affected farmers. But aside from compensation, farmers are not giving up on their call for the rice liberalization law's immediate suspension and for a comprehensive review on its, quote, crippling effect on the local industry. For now, farmers are preparing to gather signatures supporting the call to repeal the law. Shiloh Francisco, VR1 News.